I've seen others suggest this sort of thing, but uh, the most recent person is Ava Gentry, who says, Goodbye, Kazoom. Censorship is never acceptable, ever. So I brought up, well, what about uh, porn on, on, on sites such as uh, YouTube? Porn and spam. Well, porn and nudity aren't bad things. Are you trying to say they're bad things? No, no, I'm not trying to say they're bad things. I'm trying to say they don't belong on, on YouTube. If we allowed porn on YouTube, you wouldn't be able to find anything. Any subject you look for would probably be, there'd probably be some porn for it. And then you could say, well, safe search. Well, then people would bypass the safe search part of it. So their, their, their porn video will come up first. And the same thing when it comes to spam. Do you, have, have any of, do any of you have even the slightest clue how much spam there is? If you just even run, you run your own form. You don't even, you don't even advertise the form, but it still gets, you know, it gets in Google's, uh, uh, you set up the right SEO and, and it can be found, right? Do you have any idea how much spam a message forum would have if it didn't have uh, things there to block bots? Do you have any idea? Do you know how many videos on YouTube there would be if they weren't doing something to block the spam? It would be utterly unusable. There are guidelines that, that, that they have so people aren't posting spam. So people aren't posting porn. You know, if, if you want the porn, there's plenty of places to go. Now, do I think it would be neat if they didn't have such a hard th time about nudity? Yeah, I think it'd be neat, but that's not the way even the country is. That's not the way that most people feel about it. So, you know, whatever. There'd be, there's a lot of things that would be, it would be nice. Sure, there's a lot of things. So to those of you who are trying to argue that there should just be no holes barred, everything should be allowed, think about, on YouTube, think about what you're actually promoting here. Think about the mess that would be. So let's say you get rid of the porn and the spam and let everything else be no holds barred. Okay, well then the only people that are left are the ones who are the bullies. The bullying mindset. Who can out top if someone else? Who can out pwn someone else? So the only people left are these bullies and then People who are able to put up with bullying, but they don't have much good to add. And unfortunately, as I've stated before, most of the time, the bullies tilt to the right. I'm sorry, that's just the way that it ends up being. I'm not saying that those on the right are prone to bullying, because it's not saying that. It's saying that those that are bullies tend prone to are prone to be on the right. Those things are not saying the same thing. I'm not saying Republicans are going to be bullies just out of being Republicans. Someone who's right-wing is going to be a bully out of being right-wing. No, that's, that's not what I'm saying. So don't try to twist it around to that. But this is what the, the, the bully thing. That's what happens on any forum I've ever been on when they've decided to cut the rules and just let it go no holds barred. That's what happens every fucking time. The only people that are left are the bullies and these people who can kind of defend themselves against the bullies but don't really make very good points other than the fact that they're able to put up with the bullying. Oh, congratulations, you got a thicker skin. Oh, that's, that's, that's great. That's what we should all be striving for that, right? But you know, you want to believe in some sort of libertarian utopia kind of kind of mindset, but only as applied to to, you know, YouTube and social media. You know. You want you want YouTube and Facebook and all them. You want them to to have libertarian principles. 
No holds barred. Let the market take care of itself. Yeah, and then you end up with just bullies left. Yeah, you have people that create content, but they they would pretty much close the comments. Oh, they're being wussies. They need to have a thicker skin. Yeah, see, that's the, that's the bullshit mindset. That's... That's the shit that needs to be moderated out so we can have reasonable conversations. I learned a lot out of running a forum. I did. I learned a lot. And I just think about what Google has to deal with it. It's just like, holy shit, that's that's overwhelming. How do you even begin to tackle this sort of thing? That's why I give them a lot of leeway on this. Look what they're having to tackle. Look, look, look at the vastness of what they're they're trying to uh, to tackle on this. And if you go, well, they shouldn't tackle it. Well, then then you end up with this mess of people not being able to find the videos they're looking for, and they find things that, like I said, you should trying to look for hairstyles, and you'll run into two sex videos. Oh, we'll do a safe search. Well, then people will bypass, find a way to bypass the safe search. Oh, well, well, they should report that. Oh, but that's censorship, right? How stupid are you? Are some of you going to get in these arguments? How far on these principles are you going to go? That's the problem with principles. That's the big problem with, with being principled. Because it doesn't matter when, when you when you're when you hold on to principles no matter what, sometimes it can make you a fucking idiot. Sometimes it can make you make decisions that really don't make sense. If you step away from your principles and you look at the situation on its own, your principled decision is crap. And if you're not willing to bend to to have a better answer to a problem, you're not willing to bend those principles. Well, they're not principles. Well, then so fucking what? Deal with the situation in front of you instead of trying to have a one-size-fits-all answer to shit. You know? And so many of the people that, that talk about being so principled, they they think they're better than other people over it. So they can look down on everyone. Oh, well, I'm principled. Oh, well, congratulations to you. Do you want a medal? Your principles in the wrong situation could make you make some really stupid decisions. Do you still want a medal? <sighs> there are so many people that just don't seem to be looking at this situation of what Google has to deal with in any sort of balanced way. You're not looking at, at the vastness of what they're having to deal with. You're not looking at the vastness of the problems that would arise if they don't try to do anything about it. The obliviousness of some people astounds me. What do you think YouTube is? Do you think YouTube is a public utility? Do you think Facebook is a public utility? You know, if, if that's what you think it should be, then maybe you should push forth for that kind of, of, of legislation. But if you're not trying to push forth something like that, what, what, what are you expecting? Seriously, what are you expecting? This is so stupid. If they don't do something to try to make this platform better, and they're doing that, I think they're doing a pretty good job, it's going to become something that does not have as much value. Then if they even wanted to sell it, they probably wouldn't be able to sell it. Let's hope they, they're not in plans of selling it. It looks like they're trying to make it into something really good. That could mean they're building up to something good to sell it, or they're building up to something good so they can finally make some decent money from it. Because this hasn't been that very, very good of a moneymaker for them. Think about all the bandwidth, think about all the server space, think about all the stuff that's required to have to, for YouTube to exist. Think about all that stuff. And now think about the amount of money that they're making from this. 
does it does it really add up or does it just end up being a giant you know advertisement for Google hey look at how cool this company is while they make their money from other as from other places for selling our information and that sort of thing some of you just need to give up this this ridiculous utopia idea okay it is not a utopia when it's no holds barred it is a dystopia because the people who would be nervous about talking about their opinions just shut up they stop saying anything now this has happened to some degree here on YouTube a lot of people have just left they've stopped making videos a lot of people on the left have just stopped making videos there are some people on the right who have who well who have who have been kicked off but on the left it, people just stop they're just like I don't want to deal with this shit but it's improving that's what I was trying to say in my last video. It's improving. You may not immediately be seeing it, but I can see it happening. I can see you know, just just the ratio of of the shit comments versus the reasonable comments. When I go to to videos that have nothing to do with politics, you know, I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot better ratio than before. And when I am seeing stuff that 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 is dealing with politics, I'm seeing a better ratio there too. There are some people's videos where it's just a shit fest, but I've assumed that those people's videos always have a shit fest in the comments, so... But some of you are just, just I don't know what you want, you, you, you're just, oh, free speech purity, or something. Oh, well, well, any, any abridging of free speech, it's the ter most terrible thing ever. So you think you should yell fire in a crowded theater? And it should be okay. Well, you know, that's, that's different. Well, you know what makes this different? This isn't the government doing anything to you. This isn't you receiving a fine or being jailed or anything like that. It has to do with your speech on a company's platform. Well, freedom of speech, it's a, it's a philosophy. It's a way of life. It's a... Give it a fucking rest, okay? Sometimes principles don't work. Sometimes principles are the wrong answer to a problem. One size fits all doesn't really work in reality. And if you're not willing to bend a little bit to match reality, you're gonna have a problem. Guess I don't know what more to say.